favorites will always be my favorites. It's a classic a Gucci. Um Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new, welcome. If not, hey, what's up? Thank you so much for coming back. And I thought I would do another bag video because you guys really liked my last one. It's what's in my bag, the Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM. It was a great hit. I thought I would bring in some Gucci. Why not? A very timeless, endless piece. My Gucci Soho Disco Bag. A classic. Everyone loves this bag. This was like very hard to get. I'm not sure. I haven't looked at the website recently i got this bag almost two years ago and this is pretty much a wear and tear my most used bag and a review so without further ado please don't forget to like and subscribe and let's just see what's inside my bag so this bag i got about two years ago I remember it was in the winter time. I was like, I really want this bag. It was always sold out. And I was like, why is it always sold out? This bag was like the bag I always wanted to know the name because I would always see it on Pinterest, Facebook, advertisements, and all that good stuff. And then finally, I discovered the name. So I was like, yes. Yeah. So I looked it up, always sold out on the Gucci website. And then it finally just automatically popped on the website. So I clicked add to cart and I got it so when you usually buy a Gucci item it usually comes in with one of these nice boxes and I got this box um, I love it I mean I have not thrown it away because for me it's like a must-have it's like a goal achievement that I was able to buy this bag but you know the deal so uh, Gucci does a very nice packaging like it's great material you can tell right away it's like a magnetic closure so it opens like this so that's what you usually get is the box and then when you open it up like i said it's magnet you usually get a dust bag so this is what it looks like i actually put this here it's just the tag with the price and the model so you always get a very nice gucci dust bag and i have i just threw in some paper because i would stuff it in there when i you know pretty much didn't want to use it i would want to have like the figure shape whatever you want to call it so it also comes with a ribbon so that's pretty much the box itself so this bag i took it to vegas on any travel it's so easy it's leather i just love it the gold hardware as you can see right here this cute little tassel and then i love the strap because it's adjustable as you can see you can just do it if you want it long short you name it and then we're just going to open it up this is probably my go-to stuff you've probably seen it in my last video and the first thing is my mophie um portable charger nothing new on that i carry the cable which is always good my wallet i have a handy dandy mirror which is always great i have my powder from makeup forever my favorite um, of course my phone I never leave the house without my phone so I have my phone and I will say if that's pretty much any phone because if you see it's just amazing it's so roomy I have my airpods I have a pen and then I have some nausea medicine mixed with Advil my lip gloss and that's about it so you can see the inside oops you can see the inside it's not the cleanest because this is one of my most used bags you have two front pockets here another pocket here with pretty much the gucci and the number tag number and then that's about it the zipper is so great and yeah so this is overall the bag what it fits of course you can fit as much as you want but um i try not to overpack it because it can get a little heavy but nothing too powerful um i just love it it's black so classic so chic it's just one of my favorite bags and this was my first gucci bag and it's just so practical i have always been a crossbody girl or a backpack girl because you know i don't like to carry as much stuff with me 
So this is so great. I love this bag so much and yeah so if you could see obviously when you get a brand new one it looks like this i have to press it down a little bit and no it's not perfect it's pretty much like this this is pretty much how mine looks like i take care of my bags and i think everyone should because you know if there's an emergency or something and um you have to sell something um i always think that designer bags are great to have and of course as they come they go so as an emergency you can always sell it on a pre-love website on a facebook group or whatever um, whatever the case is and as long as you keep it nice and sturdy and well great condition um you can get pretty good money back obviously not what you paid in full price but you can get some money worth out of it and um if you would ask me if i would sell this probably not because this is one of my favorites it's black it has the gold hardware it's just so beautiful and it's just amazing bag if you were looking into it i would definitely invest in something like this it's probably one of gucci's most wearable most bought bag because it just goes with everything the material is amazing if you want to see the corners here um i pretty much like i said i take care of my bags so there's pretty much a little bit of wear and tear but nothing well not tear obviously but there's a little wear i mean nothing too crazy but i mean this is overall the bag and this is so normal apparently i was like freaking out but i got so used to it i don't know something about this part i don't know what it is but i seen if you look at other reviews you'll probably see that so don't freak out it's so normal and yeah guys this is pretty much it i will try to link it down below i will also find a pre-love website and i will link it down below and that's it guys that was my gucci soho disco bag one of my favorites endless loving piece and yeah guys so hopefully i will do other videos like this please let me know down in the comments what other videos you would like to see so yeah so until my next one bye